President Volodymyr Zelensky said on May 18 that Ukrainian forces had repelled a Russian assault on Chasovyar in Donetsk Oblast, and that Russia is losing troops and military hardware. Chasovyar, a largely destroyed town, has been seen as Russia's next target after the fall of Bakhmut, while Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, is also a major Russian target. Zelensky said that Russian forces also lost over 20 pieces of military hardware in Chasovyar. Our forces are delivering a strong rebuff to the occupiers wherever the situation is difficult besides Kharkiv, in Kramatorsk, Pokrovsk, Kurakovy, and the southern direction, Zelensky said in his evening address. The president also said Russia suffered a significant loss in Kharkiv Oblast. Although Russian troops were counting on a rapid advance through our land, like in 2022. Russian dictator Vladimir Putin claimed on May 17 that Russia has no plans to capture Kharkiv as of today, and is attacking Kharkiv Oblast in order to create a so-called buffer zone in the oblast to prevent shelling of Russia's Belgorod. The Kremlin has made similar claims in the past about its intentions, namely when it repeatedly stated in the months, weeks and even days before the launch of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine that it had no plans to invade Ukraine. Russia has lost 491,080 troops in Ukraine since the beginning of its full-scale invasion on February 24, 2022, the General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces reported on May 18th. This number includes 1,010 Russian casualties just over the past day. Russia's offensive in Kharkiv Oblast in mid-May could be the first of several waves, and Russian forces may target the regional capital, Kharkiv, Zelensky said a day before, in an interview with AFP. Russian troops managed to advance as far as 10 kilometers, 6 miles, as a result. Ukraine's military intelligence chief, Kirill Budanov, suggested on May 14th, that Russian forces may launch a similar offensive in Sumy Oblast when the conditions are more favorable. On the northern flank, the situation for the Ukrainians is much more stable. Russians are trying to take the village of Kalinivka to reach the underground canal section for plant flank attack operations in this area. From the direction of Budanivka, Russians launched further assaults on Kalinivka, but since they were in the lowlands, all assaults were repelled. Ukrainians took advantage of Russian weakness caused by losses in the assault and launched a series of successful assaults towards Bodanivka. <laughs> Ukrainian fighters from the 24th Mechanized Brigade published combat footage showing their counterattack. In the video, we can see that a few Russians returned to their positions after the failed assaults, leaving a few of them scared and hidden in their dugouts. Ukrainian fighters used small arms fire and grenades to clear out the dugouts from suppressed Russian fighters. During the cleaning operations, Ukrainian fighters even managed to destroy a few ammunition caches in the dugouts, simultaneously killing additional Russian troops. By the end of their cleaning operations, a single Russian soldier surrendered, likely because no one else survived. As a result of the successful counterattack, Ukrainians managed to enter the southern part of Bodanivka yet again. This is good for the Ukrainians, because Russians will now have to struggle to regain these lost positions to assault Kalinivka again. Without that, they won't be able to establish a bridgehead for further assaults on the northern flank. To prevent Ukrainians from uppercutting their bridgeheads from the canal district, Russians advanced from the small forest and took up a few positions in residential areas of houses. Russians also launched a series of minor assaults to the front of the town, including a turtle tank and two infantry fighting vehicles that unloaded infantry from positions in front of high-rise buildings. The high-rise building overlooking Russian positions in the area was so heavily damaged by bombings, to the point it became less sustainable for defense, enabling Russian assault groups to land and take positions in front of it. In other videos, we could see a Ukrainian tank firing at Russian positions in the canal district, 
which confirms that Russians established positions there. Overall, thanks to fighters of the Kraken Regiment, Ukrainians managed to repulse dozens of Russian assaults in the direction of Chasivyar, which completely changed the course of the battle for Chasivyar. As a result, the Russians had to change their plans and switch their focus to flank attacks around the town. This only led to a similar situation, where Russians faced well-fortified Ukrainian positions in an advantageous elevated area of Kalinivka, putting their assaults on hold. Thank <laughs> you. 